Alright, hey everybody, Miku X Legend is back for more Fire Emblem. So now, now we're in the middle of the battle though, so, oop, he can't reach far. Or I should make him escort to her. Keeps healing himself, that's bullshit. Shortly. So we have one more move. So I'm gonna make him wait here. And then we can move freely. Do I really have to be one space to with that? Damage, that's cool. Huh. Alright, time to strike him. Oh, what? Oh, I got him badly hurt, though. reason no wait crit
one will be hard to get through. I think that's what, I think his axe will take him out. Which, I need to stuff in the armory though. And also this guy could help though too, though I'm gonna make him come, come forth. Gee, there's nowhere to, I can't really do much about it. Wow, says the true throne of Lycia. Taste my lance. Go ahead. Oh, wow. I don't know what to do. Everyone's moved. Pegasus is that takes so much out of it. I had to use the iron sword though because anyway, that's it. So much better though. Uh oh. Oh, that boy! Now you got a big threat out of the way. This is only the only one that takes. Oh, perfect, thank you. I would love to actually get through. But so far, so good. Uh oh. I only has like three uses left. Now two. 
so I really, I definitely really gotta get... Damn it! I'm probably gonna lose one of them thanks to that. Might as well want to finish them off though, why won't I? There we go. Unhand me! I am no one's prisoner! Ah. So we can wipe the rest out and then we'll go. We'll go season. Ah. Paladin. Yeah. A silver lance. That would be useful. So really, otherwise he's gonna take out the orchard of, and someone else will. And then maybe, the, maybe the next. Okay, let's see. Yeah, then maybe the next turn I can. Uh... Yep, yeah, there's that. And there's that. That. I don't know if there's anything I can do, though. Yeah, she already moved. But wait, I can use that to take him out. So, that wouldn't be that bad. But problem, he's still alive, though. I might have to quit those. There's not much that I can do. Yeah, it takes a minute as normal. Gets those points. Okay. 
I'm not sure where do I even make her move, oh like Yeah, I can still make her move while I still can, so I'm just I'm gonna have to do do just that. I did this as normal though. What? Well, that's that's different. I never created that before either. So I guess that's all the problems out of the way, I guess. But What's gonna happen now? Here we are. Well, the archer's going out. I forgot about that. But no, not from him though. It wasn't from him. Oh yeah, yeah, that's more like it. Thank you. I finally made it. Yeah. Yeah. There. That should have happened a long time ago. At least I think so. I'll be honest with you. None of these are really even good. I'm just gonna go ahead and just... Might as well do it. Always have a chance. Oh, it's a pirate. Well, it does look like one too. I think it explains why they... Okay, so there's two left. Where's the... Oh, there's that one here, but... That's a sword user, so he should be able to take it out with a spear, though. Ouch! That's great, though, that... Uh, uh. Alright. That's out of the way, though. Thank you. Right. This is what I love to hear, though. We almost wiped them all out, surprisingly, though. That was a close call. It shouldn't be a problem, though. Uh-oh. Where is it? Only one, one way to find out, though. That's one thing for sure. I'm gonna let him finish it off. But... Ellie... Ellie Wood still needs to seize it though, like... Or maybe not. Come on, Eric. Get up. You... You peasants. You can't treat a proper noble like this. It's too late for niceties. Nice. But be thankful you're still breathing. Eric. You must tell me where you're at, where is your father. We, s we searched the entire castle and there's no one here. D don't be ridiculous. My father would not have been in. No, he never in. in. Epidel. Epidel? Who's that? Speak, Kerr. Do you, do you want to die here? <laughs> Hector? Eric, please. You must tell us everything you know. I... I just want to know where my father is. Epidel. He appeared at the castle one year ago. He came and my father changed. Ostia's position had always bothered my father. 
he felt lost deserved to rule out all of Lycia. But he'd never gone so far as to speak of rebellion. Did you say rebellion? Epidel had something. With it, he convinced my father to set his plan in motion. My father then sent envoys to several other Marquises. Marquis Ferry, he had the proof of the idea. What? Never. My father would never agree to such a thing. Believe or disbelieve, that is your choice. First was Marquis Sant Santeros, then Marquis Ferris. Ferris' reply arrived. Marquis Ferry visited here six months ago to seal his approval. That's not possible. My father and yours argued mentally that day. Marquis is very, very always distrusted Epidel. He tried to convince my father to send Epidel in the black, find fang assassins out of Lycia. My father would not be persuaded and Marquis Ferry left the castle. As you know, then he disappeared. I doubt he's still alive. No. Shut your mouth. Elwood said he wanted to hear everything. My father, he is but Epidel's puppet. He'll listen to anything that villain says. Even watch his own son die. Those are the sort of people you're dealing with. Marquis has very betrayed them, but they would not let him live. <laughs> Wait, Elliewood. Huh? Elliewood? My father is alive, and I cannot believe he supports rebellion. There, ha there must be. There has to be a reason. I know. I don't believe any of this for an instant. My brother trusted Marquis very more than any. First, we'll find your father and discover the truth. We'll talk to my brother after that. Hector, I'm sorry. Don't look like that. Your father is surely alive. Right? Yes, of course. Marquis lost like famous assassins. Now this mysterious epidel. I'll find them and I'll improve, improve my father's innocence. In Laos, Eric tells Elliewood of a plan. A plot to use Laos as starting ground in a rebellion against Ostia. Elliewood needs proof to believe these accusations, and so he, he and his allies pursue Darren and the fleeing Marquis of Laos, where that chase would lead Elliewood to have known. Last. Where on earth has that has that snake Darren gone? I doubt he's left Lycia yet, but Hector, it's been five days. The death of Marquis Santorus, our attack on Love's Castle. Word of these things must have reached Lord Luther by now other by now. And yet he shows no sign of action. Why? I'm sure he has his reasons. My brother has other concerns tying his hands right now. What do you mean? It's burned. We've received disturbing reports over the past few months. King Desmond has had behaving on them. If he sees every, even the slightest crack in Lysia's defenses, we believe he'll invade all of Baron's might behind him. My brother has only recently become Marquis as well as the of Lysia and Lee. He can't allow another country to see any weakness or discord. He has to present the face of stability and strength, is that it? Yes. It seems every country has a spy working in Nostia right now. They all want to assess the new Marquis's temper and skill. If they sense anything wrong, word will spread like wildfire. Hector, you're the Marquis's brother. 
would not would not being at his side be seen as something wrong? The Marquis's brother is well known out. If I were at court, they said something wrong. You're not too proud of that reputation, aren't you? Are you? None the least. Lord Elliwood, Lord Hector. What is it, Marcus? Have you heard something? Yes, my lord. A visitor from the east. Castle Callan has fallen to surprise attack from Marcus's loss. Castle Callan? They struck again? Lord Halson, is he unarmed? Unarmed? We have no word on Lord Halson or his granddaughter, the Lady Lindis. I never expected them to attack Callan. Lord Halson? Lindis? Lord Elliwood, Lord Hector, what should we do? They might still be alive, right? There's only one thing we can do. We write to their aid, there may still be time. Of course we're gonna be dealing with that again. Oh, we've we got Lynn here. The lady, I've returned and I've brought, brought news. Lots of soldiers are scattered from the castle to the edge of this forest. There must be at least 50 soldiers. Are you sure about this, my lady? We barely escaped. Going back to the castle would mean almost certain death. My grandfather is in the castle. I left this castle on his orders, but I can't leave him in there alone. The numbers we face rescuing Lord Halson will be no easy task. I wonder if we can expect any reinforcements. Oh, we heard someone that allows the soldiers talking. They claim that Lord Elliwood invaded Laos and drove them out. Elliwood? Why would they attack, they attack Laos? It gets even more interesting. Not only, only did Marcus as Laos said he got to Venice Castle, but he also left his son Eric behind when he felt fled here to Callan. That disp despicable he been his own son? But at least he know Elliwood is in Laos. We might be able to ask him for help. Assuming there was, there was, there was a way to contact him. If we were to avoid being caught, the best path would be through the forest. Whoops, that's not right. I'm gonna end here. I'm sorry, guys, but I know, but I'll get there soon enough. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe to my videos, don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified whenever I upload. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye, you guys, take care.